Oh, g'day, you mad boss. It's great to have your company this Thursday afternoon, the 17th of August, 2023. And you, my friends, are listening to The Big Show, Hoity J. Minogio and Keezy, you mad boss. And I can tell you, the boys are fired up today. We're fired up for the show and Mogi. As always, looking sensational, mate. How's life? <laughs> yeah, great, man. Good stuff, I'm uh, pretty mate. pumped about the show today. I'm really fizzing about going down to Wellington tomorrow. Yes. I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. I'm that excited. Got Bea Vanda down there, so that'll be a bloody beauty. But first things first, we're going to have a ripper today, aren't we, mate? Yeah, eh? totally, mate. I, t- I hear exactly what you're saying there, Mogi. Mate, you've got a beautiful huh? haircut, Jason, oh, if you thanks, say that, mate. man. Thanks, okay? man. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we should put it on Insta. Yeah. Hey, Keezy, you mad bastard. How's life? Yeah, life's good, fellas. Um, You're already I'm, pumped what? about the show today, weren't I'm you? I'm fired up. I, to be honest, I'm fired up. Mm. I'm ready to go. This is my favourite three hours of the day is when four o'clock hits and the then dude. I'm sad from seven o'clock onwards. Yeah. I can't remember being so fired up about a show. I'll I'm be honest busy, with you. Man. Uh, and I'm also fired up because I just went and bought myself a little thing of sushi there and I'm filthy because it's brown rice instead of white rice. Well, I just, I'm filthy I just hate cause brown rice. Right. I'm filthy because I just went and bought um, some sushi as well, but it's a it's on a bed of lettuce instead of bed of rice. So you bought like a katsu bowl. Well, I was trying to bring it. I was meant to. I had my food there ready to bring in today. I left it on the bloody bench, oh. didn't I? Idiot! Yeah. What are you What are you annoyed about buying today, New Zealand? Text us three four eight three. In I've the got meantime, some spare lettuce if anyone wants it. It's yeah, left I've, over. I've got some regurgitated brown rice as well. <laughs> Let's have a bit of Super Groove, shall we? Yeah. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Super Groove there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Thursday afternoon, seven minutes past four o'clock, which should mean it's time for this. The Big Pole. Very simple again today. Throw cushions, yes or no? Yay or nay? Yay or nay, throw cushions. What's your thoughts, Keezy? My thoughts are that when the bed is made, it looks lovely with your 17 cushions on there, right? But it no, takes... I bet, sh- what? I bet you're in your house, and we haven't discussed this prior. No. I bet you have got a lot of throw cushions yeah. on your bed. Shit, yeah. Yeah. I have to throw seven cushions off just to hop in bed. That's on your side? Uh, no, that's on the entire bed, oh, right? Yeah. But in, in order to hop good. in, yeah. So, it's, I mean, it's still ridiculous. We've got nine pillows, you know what I mean? Throw them all off, hop in bed, wake up in the middle of the night to go wheeze... Not a midnight steamer. Sure. Uh, then you leave the lights off because you don't want to wake up or wake up the wife there. Trip over seven cushions. Right. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Do you do that every night? You dope. Do, do you know? No, a, do you know a, a really cute little story that um, Keezy's wife told me? Oh, Just what? read the bed there, Margie. Old Keezy still has his blankie and his little teddy bear from when he was a when he was little Keezy. That mon bought him. It's not a teddy bear, it's a bunny rabbit. Oh, it's a bunny rabbit, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And, and he saw it as blankie. Oh, you lucky. And he still sucks his thumb. It's not a blank. <laughs> it's not a blankie, it's a quilt. All right, well, so if you're going to tell these yarns, you have to get the details spot right, right, well, right. yeah, yeah. Just telling you what she said to me, that's oh, all. right, yeah, uh, yeah. Throw cushion, stupid. And I was appalled because I was talking about, the, you know, we just sort of redid our room over the weekend, and my wife said to me, Ma! Should we get some throw cushions? Oh. I love my wife immensely. I, my we've, wife. we've been together for a very long time, 26, 27 years. 26. I've never been so close to divorce as I was in that moment. I'm with Keezy, the most stupid idea ever invented. Uh, just, you know, no one goes into our room anyway, and you get to the end of the night, you have to throw them all on the floor. You're going out for a midnight Keezy steamer. You trip over them. Um, it's just a stupid bloody idea. Mogi, and, and your can thoughts? I say that it's a, traditionally what you'd want in this sort of situation is for one of us to disagree with the other. Yes. Unfortunately, I can't disagree. Yeah, we're uh, all it's unanimous. A, a complete waste of money. Yes. Waste of space. Uh, it's just, yeah, I, I don't get it at all. We've got none on our bed. I don't know how that's happened. We've slowly gotten rid of them. Over the years, I guess. Uh, but we used to have them, we don't anymore, and I am thrilled about it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, because what another thing throw cushions does is when you make the bed, which is quite an easy job, it turns an easy job into a slightly harder job because you then have to pick up all of the cushions and place them on. You're a busy man, Keith. Yeah, yeah, you've got yeah, the little, you ain't got time for that, brother. You've got the little throw blanket for at the end, which you have to put on at a little angle over the corner of oh, the bed. Oh, we don't do that. Oh, do you, oh, yeah, we have to do that. Oh, yeah. do you do that? Yeah, you've got to fold it in half and make sure it's perfect and then put it over. It's so funny. Yeah. So I do that and then I put my little teddy on the top and then, yeah. I thought it was a rabbit. Yeah, I call it Teddy. It's called Teddy. Oh, right. Teddy's a rabbit. Yeah, hey, yeah, but yeah. we're interested to see if there's any you know, different opinions out there on 3483. Oh. Or you can give us a call on 0800 Hodaki. In the meantime, here's a bit of news. The Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Oh, yes, indeed. News there on the Radio Hodaki mm. Big Show this Thursday afternoon. Now, if you're just joining us, the instant poll today, um, throw cushions, yes or no. So far, I haven't found anyone supporting it. No. The idea of having a million cushions on your bed. Jace, do you want us to just change the name of it to the instant poll? Will that make you happy? Insta poll. It's the Hodaki Big, Big Show Big, Big Poll. Yeah, well, I, you know, I like to vary it up a bit. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> yeah, I do. You just call it the Insta Poll every <laughs> the <day. Insta-Pole. laughs> There's no variation. Um, tonight, hey. at probably six ish, it's going to be late, um, but they're up late. I'm going to be Zoom calling my parents what? for the first it's time. Six. So, six o'clock here. Uh-huh. Um, my parents are on a cruise. You're going to be yeah. on the radio, mate. Oh, yeah. It's not going to work, is it? No. Seven, it's going to be really late. Jeep, it's going to be like midnight. But anyway, they're on a cruise. What time is it's it going to be, It's TV? either six o'clock or it's midnight. Is that what you say? So, s- <laughs> whatever time I do it here, yeah. you add some time there. Because they're on a that. cruise, right? Yeah, yeah, I get yeah, that yeah. part of it. So, if I do it at seven, it's going to be like midnight. Holy cow. Uh, but if you do a- it at seven, it's going to be seven. It's not going to be midnight, man. Where they are. Oh, where they are. Oh, right. Sure. Like yeah, where they yeah, are. Yeah, 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 where they are. Because yeah, yeah, they're yeah. on a cruise. Oh, no, I get that they're on a cruise. You just didn't explain that. But. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in Alaska. The, yeah, how did you know that? Well, I had a, I had a, uh, we had a chat with old Mon and Don last night. Mostly Mon. Don crashed early and had a few beersies. What? So uh, Mon and I had a bit of a chat. It was quite funny, actually, because well, you're right, on. there is a bit of a time difference. And, and old Mon was in party mode, Mogi. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, she was having a good old time. Well, hang on, no, because um, they've been out of signal, and so they're like a week and a half into it, and I haven't been able to chat to them yet. So well, how they, the hell did you talk to well, them? Well, no, they haven't been, because I spoke to them. It was quite funny, actually, because I got on at about 7.30 after I got home from the radio show that we do, Keezy. Um, and then... All of a sudden, time just flew, and my wife came out at like quarter to midnight. It's like, what the bloody hell are you? What the bloody hell are you doing? And I was like, oh, sorry, darling, I'm just having a chat to Mon. Right. Um, And as I say, Don had crashed early, so. Because they told me they hardly ever have signal, and it costs them a fortune whenever they do have signal, and so we can only chat for five minutes. Oh, no, we organised this before they left, actually. Right. And it was good. Um, And and the thing I like about Mon um, Mogi when she's on it. You know what I mean? She's had a few, you know, pinots and a few wines and stuff. She's very upfront and honest, as well you know. I do. Um, and we had a good chat about you, Keezy. She worries about you. Um, she asked, you know, well, did, did, how, how the eczema is on your knees okay, and stuff Okay, first of all, like I haven't that. had and, eczema for 25 years. And she was very concerned, because she listens to the show, Mogi. I don't know if you know that. Right. Um, about your bowel issues and your midnight steamers. Because she said, you know, as a young fella... You are prone to, you know, shatting yourself a little bit. And she wonders if you've had, you know, maybe irritable bowel or right, something like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah right. Yeah. Did they say anything about the, ho- she was the holiday? Also a bit or? They did say something about the holiday. You were saying they were excited and they're going to get an early night, if I remember correctly, because the next day they, um, they were heading to Shag Island. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Shag Island. That's right. Oh, that's the island with all the with the shag colony, the, the bird. No, no, there's no shags on it. Um, and she was also a little bit concerned about your... Um, your, your relationship, your wife going out every night and so forth and stuff. And she wondered if that was connected to your midnight stick. <laughs> <laughs> wow, sounds like you guys had a really good catch up. Yeah, it was good, oh, man. Right. It was good. She sends her regards. Well, oh, st- actually, that reminds me. She said she's not available tonight. They've got, I think they're going to Shag Island tonight, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> Shag Island tonight, Boozy Island tomorrow. <laughs> 
Todaki Big Show Podcast. So good, man. I was beginning to flag there for a second, and yeah. then the douche Green Day came on, and Hoity J sparked up straight away. Good the stuff. The old boulevard of broken S- dreams. Speaking, uh, speaking of sparking up, um, fellas, and being excited, we're going to be at Beavana tomorrow down in Welly. You mentioned that at the top of the show, Mogi. Uh, very much looking forward to get down to Welly and meeting up with all the folk down there. So if you are in Wellington tomorrow, Come along to Beavana. Come along and see the big show. We'll be doing the show live there, live at Beavana. That's right. Obviously, you need tickets. Tickets, please. Tickets, please. I mean, I think we'll have tickets. Oh, no, we'll have tickets. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm yeah, saying, then we'll get one of those what? bands that gives us food and free stuff. Oh, yeah, they always give you the band. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe or a lanyard. Ooh. Oh, yeah, no, a lanyard would be good. I'm not sure, actually, but we'll be in there. We'll be broadcasting the show 4 to 7 live. Uh, so if you do want to come along and see the, b- the big show, I don't even know if there's tickets left, but the Friday evening session is the one you want to get tickets yeah, for. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I think that's the popular one. Yeah. Not because we're doing our show there, but well, prob- yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you want tickets, beervana.co.nz. And every single day this week, we have been doing the Beervana Brewery of the Day. We're off to find. Do you want to know what today's brewery of the day is? Well, that would be the point of it, wouldn't it? I mean, there's no point in talking about the brewery of the day and then actually not talking about the brewery of the day. I know, so up, we can do see. some like back and forth. You oh, know yeah, I mean? well, I'm trying to. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you asked a question, I was just answering it. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah it's yeah, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, today's brewery of the day is the Hop Federation, uh, run by Simon and Nikki. Oh, I love those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, one of them's a woman. Um, it's in the heart of Hop Country, Motueka. Oh, yeah. Uh, which is a beautiful part of the nation. Um, ten years they've been doing it at Hop Federation. Is it ten years already? Yeah, man, a decade. Feels like yesterday. Yeah, I remember when they started off. You know, I was giving. You know, I don't know if you guys know this. I used to make home brew. Oh, and yeah. And a lot of these brewers, um, you know, when they're starting out, come and see old Hoity J. Get a really? Few tricks of the trade. Mm. So you help these guys get set up? Yeah, I've helped pretty much all the boutique breweries around New Zealand uh, as a res- direct result of me helping right. them, Keezy. Yeah, wow. yeah. Famous in uh, ODD point for my 8.5% beer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah boy. Backbone. Blow your head off if you weren't careful. What Ooh. was it called? Hoggles Brew. Uh, so you'd know Dion and Nikki quite well then? Yeah, very well. Yeah, just because yeah, yeah, it's Simon yeah. and Nikki. I was sorry, I misread it. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> yeah, my bad, sorry. Uh, but, yeah, they are the brewery of the day, Hop Federation. Oh, oh you're talking about Hop. Yeah, oh, Hop right. Federation. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, they'll be yeah. in Wellington uh, at Beervana this weekend, so make sure you go and say hello. And come and say good day to us at the show, by the way. Yeah. Don't want to sound needy, though. No. Oh, no we're, we're not, it's up we're, to you. It's yeah, we're good. not desperate. I'm yeah, not saying yeah, we're yeah. desperate, but it'd be nice to have a little crowd there to perform in front of. <laughs> While we have a few beersies. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Beervana.co.nz. Get stuck in if you want tickets. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. T Rex there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show. 10 minutes to 5 o'clock. Beautiful. Yeah, good. Hey, I just wanted to talk to you guys if that's all right. Oh, I'm quite, kind of busy right now, mate. Keezy, are you up to anything, man? Well, yeah. I'm all goods. Okay. Yeah, I'm all ears. Um, I, um, my daughter is four and she's learned how to swim. That's they cute. go pretty good, man, considering they only do 20 minutes a week. They pick it up pretty quick. Yeah. So you can imagine if they were doing it all day, every day, like walking, they'd be bloody f- like fish before you knew it. Like a duck to water. <laughs> well, ducks aren't fish, Casey. Oh, I, yeah. I actually I remember was... actually my eldest, um, Mogi, just on that, uh, when I uh, took her f- for swimming lessons, chucked her in the pool, just literally chucked her in the pool. Yeah. Dedouche, boom, 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 boom. Straight to the bottom uh, of the pool. You're just bloody hammering out the bloody lengths. Lengths. Just douche, 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 douche. Never taught her in her life. Yeah. Just natural. What yeah. style? Pardon? What's butterfly. Butterfly, but, wow. Strangely enough, butterfly. That's rare. Uh, but we're down the pool there on uh, Saturday for the lessons. Public pool. I'm a man of the people, Keys. He always have been. Totally. And um, all of a sudden, the lifeguard's blowing the bloody whistle. Toot, toot, toot. Can you do a whistle? You do a good whistle, Keys. Oh, yeah. Toot, toot, toot. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Um, everybody out of the pool. Everybody out of the pool. Code Brown. Oh, oh God. Yeah. Code Brown. I've never been yeah. down there when I've that's heard happened about before. Them. Yeah, 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 yeah. So everybody. Out of this bloody pool, and it was it was a real bastard because you just want to sort of get there, down there, do the swimming lessons, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, get out and go home. Yes, but they have to drain the entire pool. Far out. So they drain the entire pool and fill it up again with a hose. Yeah, wow. it takes moons, man. 
Like a garden and, hose. Well, yeah, well, fire hose. Oh, fire hose. Oh, but yeah, they've got but a couple of them, bigger. so it goes a bit quicker. But Jesus, it took about three hours for it to fill up again. Um, it's a hell of a palaver, and I thought it was the sort of thing where, and excuse my ignorance, I've never been down there, where they just grab a sieve out of the kitchen. Sure. Scoop the bastard out of there, flick it in the bin. Well, it depends what sort of material you're dealing with, but yeah. It was mostly poos. Yeah, what I mean in terms of solidity. Oh, or, sure, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Well, let's not get too far into um, it, you know what I mean? Um, and I just thought they'd chuck a little bit more chlorine in. Sure. And that that'd be the end of it. But geez, man, it was all go. I can yeah. imagine. So it was a bobber? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it was no, it was. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. yeah. And that was the problem. Buoyant. Whereas if it had of, um, sort of taken water on board and sunk to the bottom, sure, I think no, nobody would have been any the wiser and, you know, sort of get... So, what, was it one of the kids or something? Because you said it was kids swimming lessons, Well, right? it was kids swimming pool, but that's the thing. It's so hard to tell. Right, yeah. Because um, there's that many people in the pool. But had I have known that they're going to make such a big deal about it, I probably would have just gone to the changing rooms and done it in there. Sure. But I didn't want to leave my kid alone in the pool. Yeah, well, that's fair call, man. And it's... It, Wait, so you and, did And it. this is the thing about it. Have you ever been for a swim and then gone in and sat on a toilet and you're all wet? Oh, yeah, I hate on that. On a toilet yeah yeah it's gross man. and i'm just thinking about all the food you're eating at the moment it would have been an absolute atrocity that you backed out <laughs> the hodaki big show podcast white stripes there oh geez that was close uh, white stripes on the radio hodaki uh, big show hey coming up after five o'clock relationship advice so if you have uh, relationship issues text us three four eight three and with that in mind everyone that texts in on three four eight three goes in the draw to win some tickets to stray that's right it's called strays, strays. yeah there's more than one uh, it's a comedy movie made by the people that made ted it's got will ferrell in it will forte as well very funny got a few double passes to uh, give away so text us three four eight Eight, three. Get stuck into it, New Zealand. Good times. The Hodaki Big Show podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. Welcome back, you mad bastards. Great to have your company this Thursday evening. Two minutes past five o'clock coming up. Uh, relationship chat. If you need relationship advice, text us 3483. Yeah. Fair amount of filth coming through. I'll say that, Mogi. Oh, there's a lot uh, of but, filth. I mean, but, you know, but also, there's. Um, there's a lot of chat out there about some people having some good times out there. There's some open-minded buggers out oh. there. Certainly the females. The males are sort of trying to shut up shop from the looks of things. Yeah, but there's yeah. some bloody good questions in there. There's one there I want to I want to uh, give an answer to. Yeah, yeah, sort of one I can relate I mean, just, to there. And just yeah. off the bat, though, very quickly. I mean, how, how are you and your partner, your beloved, uh, talking about sex and stuff? I just leave little notes around the oh, place. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like... Making right. eye contact when I'm talking about it. Uh, school Goodness had a me. little bit of a wobble there. Yeah, you on did. My mic. You did. So yeah, uh, emails, sure, that sort of thing. Nice. And yeah, uh, um, but uh, yeah, as I say, when when it comes to love making, it's absolute darkness and no chat. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, no. I, I've always found that a difficult question, actually, on the relationship front. You know how to bring up the idea of do you want to make love? Sp- oh, you even know what that. I mean. What about spicing things up? Oh. Um, well, as you know, a little bit of salt, about, a little bit of pepper, a little uh, bit of zim- lemon zest. I was talking about my room the other day. We've got plenty of spice in our bedroom. Don't you yeah, worry yeah, about yeah, that. Don't you have a yeah. sex swing, a mirror on the roof, and a chest of dillies? Mirror yes. on the ceiling, not the roof, Keith. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, a chest full of dillies. Some dolls. Um, but, yeah, I always found it really awkward. And I'll be genuine here, actually. How to bring up? Are you? Would you like to? What about you? Well, how would you feel uh, about it? Uh, and, uh, and if I was would you, too, would you? Uh, uh, this is like something. Uh, you're feeling a bit tense there, and uh, <laughs> not keen, or and, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, the kids are oh, out, how about, and uh, uh, oh, maybe uh, we could. Uh, I wasn't interested you know, anyway, and, uh, and uh, that's all oh, good. Yeah. Uh, I'll just go I'll out sort myself out. Yeah, I'll just have a few beersies. Is that how you do it? You just had you barrage. Always barrage been a bit of a charmer. Oh, you're right. Same, Matt. Got the old gift of the gab keys. You can't help it. Yeah. Totally, Muggy. Totally. Because um, I was thinking it's, it sounds similar to like when you're a young fella trying to ask a girl out for the ball. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I, would you, you know, and, uh, I was thinking maybe, yeah. Yeah, with the inhaler as well. I forgot the inhaler. Yeah, true. As soon as I get the inhaler out, actually. They go, yes, Keezy. Hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, totally, man. As soon as I see the Ventolin. It's the thing with. <laughs> What? That's, that's a good move, man. Yeah. That's a good move. The old petty f- run, yeah. yeah. Not the flexor tide, though. That one scares them away. Sure. Hey, keep them texting through on 3483 for relationship chat. We've got <laughs> tickets to go see Strays. The 
Sparky Big Show Podcast. I love you so much. We need to talk. I'm going out with the boys. Hey, babe, we got anything on this weekend? Relationship advice with Jason Mike. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, actually, Mogi, we've had some real doozies. We have. You know, and I was being really honest and upfront at the beginning of the hour there, you know, talking about the difficulties I've had. Yeah. Sex, really, and, um, you know, asking your partner how, you know, how to make, do you want to make love? I always struggle with that. Yeah. Not anymore, but back in the day. A lot of people in the same boat, Jace. Yeah, yeah, totally, man. Uh, 3483, a lot of texts coming through. You can also ask us on Instagram as well. Uh, this one does come via the Instagram from a guy called James. Good on you, James. Common issue here. Hey, guys, I love my missus, but I can't stand her best friend. What yeah. do I do? Look, the only thing I would advise there is make love to her. Who, the missus? No, her friend. Well, that would be cheating, wouldn't it? Well, I mean, if it ultimately... I just worry that that's always your advice for everything. If, if it ultimately improves their relationship, mm. that's going to benefit your relationship with your wife. Yeah. If you get on with the best friend, better by making love to her. Yeah. It's not cheating. But it sounds like... Is that not cheating? No. Well, what? E- eating's, oh, wow. che- eating's cheating. Oh, yeah. But that comes from, you know, that's drinking. That's something else. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. totally unrelated. You're right. actually proactively working to make your relationship with your wife better by making your relationship with her better. Jace, can I ask you a question here, mate? Sure, man, sure. Well, you and I, when we uh, got together with our respective wives, we lied to them and made out that we were something that we weren't. And sure. I've never asked you about this, but... The, uh, another part of the method that I used was I drove a wedge between my wife and all of her friends and all of her Fano and made her entire world about me. And it feels like that's what's got to happen here. There is that. So there. you can drive a wedge or you can... Right. Y- you're talking your classic isolation. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. That works a treat. Right. So, okay. So either the isolation or the make love to the best friend, but it's not yeah. cheating because eating's cheating. Eating's cheating. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you go, James. Good stuff there. Uh, this well, can is I just a, say what? on that, by the way, I was just talking off here before about, you know, how sometimes you'd be going up for a girl, with a girl for two or three years and then you'd break up with her and then all your mates would go, oh, I hated her. Yeah. And yeah. you'd be like, oh, I was thinking of getting, getting back, to, back together. Yeah, that, that, but, that, but they hold off while you're together. Yeah. But with, as soon as you don't, yeah, no, nah, she was piece of work yeah. or he yeah, or he you or can do he, better hoity J yeah uh, actually this is a good one an interesting one hey guys how do I have the birds and the bees chat with my kids without it being awkward mm. I find uh, the best way to approach and this is actually what I did oh. with with my daughters I was just brutally upfront, right and honest yes and I just 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 really let them know what mm. was going on. And, and, you know, with a bit of humour, Mokey, sure. you know, I chuck a bit of humour in there. Well, come yeah. up with a funny hat but on they, or something. Yeah, well, like a weird hoodie. And, that is um, funny. You know, and, and I'd just be really, I'd be over the top with it. Right. I'd be over, ex, you know, explaining right. the situation. Right. Okay. And that way they'd sort of get the giggles. But Hoity J got his point across. Sure. So it's about- and I'd deduce their boyfriends. You mean beat them up? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Just double check. Yeah, um, hey, keep those uh, questions coming on 3483. Three. We'll give away those uh, double passes to go see Strays soon. It's exciting, isn't it? There is. Remember those books you could buy? That's the, the little, that's how my mother taught me. Yeah, she just yeah. threw me a book and she said, there you go, four eyes. <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. ACDC there on the radio, Hodaki uh, Big Show this Thursday evening. Now, listen, the 90s till now countdown, we're getting towards the end of the week, fellas. Yeah. Your chance yep. to get involved in it. All you need to do is text song to 3483 to win an instant vinyl collection. That's 90 right. 90-odd vinyls, beautiful. You'll also be helping us pick the countdown, which starts Monday morning, 8.30 a.m. sharp, 900 of the best songs of the last three-odd decades. So it's going to be a big one. Doozy. Song. We've had uh, the votes have been... Pouring in, Casey, they have did you hear about that? Yeah, Seriously, mate, yeah. they have. Uh, yeah, it's been our, one of our biggest countdowns we've ever done. Nine which is awesome. million votes. Yeah. Wow. No, I don't think. Oh, it's ninety. The... Sorry, Jeez. ninety million. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought. Well, no, no. Hang yeah, on. No, we're going the wrong you way. You say nine. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. No, no. It, it's definitely not nine million. Otherwise, everyone in New Zealand. No, that's ninety. 90. 
Oh, 90, oh. 90 million. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, so everyone in New Zealand voted 18 no, times. No, no. certain amount of people voted lots of times. Because right. you can vote as many times as you want. It's so hard to choose your favourite songs, man. Absolutely. Even in the 90s, I could pick 90 million songs. <laughs> Uh, if you want to win that awesome vinyl collection, which is 90 vinyl, 90 full stop, uh, text song 3483, help us pick the countdown, um, and we'll be ripping into that 8.30 a.m. Monday morning, as I mentioned. You're repeating that's gonna yourself be, a bit, mate. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be great. I'm just though. making sure that everyone knows it's 90 vinyl. Yeah, but it was 90 million people that have, you know, voted. Right, yeah. And that's yeah, how yeah. much money you could win. Yeah. Well, no, there's no money at all. There's just, no, I'm saying if you, you know, bought enough lotto tickets over time, you could win 90 million. Oh, Speaking of lotto. Yeah, I just don't see how that's relevant. What? Speaking of lotto, well, I, did, we I, didn't, I didn't win that last night. Oh, but I did win a free ticket. I'll oh, tell you what you can do with your free ticket. What? We what were you going to say, Keith? No, you said you were going to tell us what we could do with the free ticket, but then you didn't say anything. Yeah, later. Oh, cool. This is a tease, is it? Yeah, oh. it's a tease. Stand by. It's, it's a radio technique. It's going to be really good. Um, just looking at your guys' lives that I've been plotting, Mike Minogue. Oh, me. 1998. Oh, yeah. You were playing for the All Whites. Was I? You scored four goals. Your, yep. nick, your nickname was Boom Boom Minogue. Oh, but they changed it after that game. They changed it to Boom 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 Boom, 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 boom. boom Minogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what he was doing in the 90s. Yeah. Um, Good player. Remember we used to, well, I came across him a couple of times. Yeah. Uh, you right did what? Foot. Huh? Yeah. Oh, really? Both feet? Yeah, I had two feet. Far out. That's crazy. Yeah. You don't know this about Mogi too. His left foot is his right foot, and his right foot is his left foot. You can't. Yeah, you wouldn't even know. No, have you ever, look, oh, have yeah. you ever looked at his feet? Yeah, they point out. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Quarter to three. That's how I can run circles around you. Oh yeah. man, yeah, sweet. Um, hey guys, are we doing tool chat next? Oh yes, tool chat. Now listen, if you want us, if there's a tool that you want us to talk about in tool chat. Text us now, 3483, and all the people that do go on the draw to win a ticket BK to vouchers. What? Win some BK vouchers. <laughs> <laughs> We've already given away the movie tickets. We've got plenty of BK vouchers, though, so get stuck in. 3483, what tool do you want? Hodaki Big Show Podcast. It's Tool Chat. <laughs> Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> screwdriver, screwdriver. With Jason Mike. to the front, Casey, you filthy bastard. You yeah, g'day, mates. Welcome along to Tool Chat with Jason. My woo we talk tools. Uh, love my Tool Chat, Mike. Uh, it's, it's been a little while, mate. Uh, the, the featured tool... <coughs> The featured tool today is the old the, the old corkscrew there, yeah, mate. Boy. An absolute essential on site, I would argue. Yeah, she's an absolute ripper, mate. I mean, it's one of those things that uh, people might say, well, is it strictly a tool? And I would say, yes. The most precious tool going around as far as I'm concerned. Absolutely right. I mean, it sort of was a bit more prevalent back in the day there, sort of in the 80s, before they come out with these fancy bloody screw top bottles of wine there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah sure. The old corkscrew gun there and there, apply that to the old bottle. But, uh, you know, when I see them lying around on uh, site these days, it's generally to celebrate the end of a big job, but all I can think about is the romantic dinners I used to have with my missus there before she walked out the bloody door on me and left me a broken shell of a man. Oh, look, I tell you what, uh, I have a similar experience there, uh, Mogi. Uh, I remember Charlene coming on, so- <coughs> coming on site there and we'd, 
we'll open up a nice bottle of plonk for you with the old corkscrew and di- have a couple of glasses of wine there as the sun would go down over the site, you know, and fond memories, of course. In a funny way, the corkscrew became a bit of a nightmare for old Hoity J there because, uh, you know, after a while the drinking got really heavy when she was off hammering away with old Jaden there and uh, I'd, I'd be hurrying into the wines, but the old cord, the old hand got a bit shaky there, Mogi, yeah. and I'd forever stabbing myself in the hand there. So in the end, I had to, I had to ditch the wine bottles and get the cask. Yeah, you know, well, I'd yeah, do yeah. something similar, mate, yeah, before I could bad. get the old uh, corkscrew into the wine bottle there. I'd crack into a bottle of vodka, and by the time I got to the bottom of that bastard, the old hand had steadied out a little bit. Oh, and yeah. I, and I'd be able to uh, get the corkscrew in the bottle and get a packet of, you know, get a cigarette out of the packet and spark that bastard up steady as you like, mate, and then I'd be able to start swinging the hammer and that, get back on the bloody tools and back building these houses that have been backing up and I've run out of money to be able to pay for the things and the client's not going to sell, they're not going to make the next payment and lo and behold you wake up the next day and the whole bloody house is looking a bit bloody wonky yeah, bit like, on the piss if you will yeah yeah like it's you've got a bit of a lean to going on I tell you what too you know speaking of the day is the old corkscrew there you know things got so shaky for me mate that uh, you know I, I wasn't able to get the cellophane off the old bloody ciggies there you know, the little tab there, and I'd be because I'd cause a tube of bloody nails down to a yeah, nub. Bloody anxious. Just thinking about Charlene and yeah. what, you know what she's getting up to with that little bastard, and you know what I mean? So I'd be shaking away there, get the old cooks and just rip it off there. Yeah. Because you know, I got quite desperate there, you know, mate, because you're right, you you half a bottle of body deep, and you're yeah. just desperate for a durry there, and you're getting a bit shaky. Uh, hey, fun fact about the corkscrew, guys. Uh, a reverend invented it and patented it in 1795. Yeah, good one, Teasy. You stupid damn son. You remind me of Jaden. You've got to go. You're smacking the bloody teeth. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. What a way to finish off the hour, eh, fellas? I'm getting more and more excited about tomorrow, by the way. You guys get, you know, getting a bit, a bit excited. Fired up. Fired up. Show. Going, going down to Wally. Yeah, we're going down to Wally. Um, big airplane. Yeah. I'm, so excited. Do, do, do. I'm excited to get there early and join you in Kuru Club, Jace. Yeah, it'll be good, man. Yeah, we you can hang can, out. You can fill your boots, Keezy. Yeah. Hey, so yeah. Good. hey, coming up after 6 o'clock, of course, the results of the uh, Big Show Big Poll. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, plus, what's on the TV with Mike Minogue? Oh, my God. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. So good. You yeah. always seem to forget about that. Yeah. yeah. We do it every day. day. Yeah. It. Is it yeah. every day? Every day you forget about it. Far yeah. out. So good. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. Oh, bit of racing for you, fellas. Not bad. Love a bit of racing. Now it's time for... The Big Pole. And the big poll today was uh, throw cushions, yes or no. We had a discussion uh, amongst ourselves in the studio here yeah. vehemently against my vibe. My vibe yeah. is that the audience, our audience also would be vehemently against it. Right. So, And you can vote on the Hodaki Big Show Instagram story. And every night we like to try and do a bit of a guessing game. Mike and Jace have a guess what they think their sort of percentage to yes or no is. Jace, what's your guess? I haven't voted. Can I just say this? I haven't voted, so I haven't seen this at all. I'm going to go first. I'm going to go 70 30 again against. And right. I don't know. So 70% no, 30% yeah. yes. Jace, what are you thinking? Likewise. Oh. Um, and I've, I've never voted on the Insta poll. So how do you check it every night and then cheat? I don't check it. That's the point. Uh, well, my, hang on a second. Maybe oh. I might even go. I might even go eighty twenty. But no, my bolos are telling me seventy thirty split, seven to three. Right. Okay. Uh, well, the good news for Mogi is it's seventy four percent no, twenty six percent yes. Wow. So I see what you did there, Jace. Is you deliberately got it slightly wrong today to throw us off the scent of you cheating? Well, I would say seventy four is equivalent to sort of seventy. Yeah. What Mogi, Mogi, you said eighty twenty. No, but then I said, but I'm going to go seventy thirty. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. So you did get it right again. <laughs> well, well for no, like the tenth because, day in a row. No, because it was seventy four percent, Keezy. When I get it percentage exactly right, that's when I'll get it right. But this is what you're doing is you're just getting it wrong. Oh. But hey, throw cushions. Am I right? Yeah. I just. I'm glad I, we got to the bottom of that. I find it remarkable. <laughs> I find it remarkable 
that if Mogi chooses correctly, it's all legit and tickety boo. It's based. But Hoity J gets it right, and oh, no, he must be cheating. Jace, it's based on your track record of oh. being a little shit, all right? That's, that's what it's Keezy, based on. What? I haven't looked at my phone for at least an hour. Right. You, do you know that you give me the vibe? Remember that time you had my lolly cake ballers? That's the vibes I'm getting from this. Yeah, You've got yeah, that same yeah. look on your face. Yeah. Minogue doesn't care enough to put this whole thing Neither together. Neither do I. Yes, you do, though. It's, it's just a fun thing for us to do as a I team. Know. And, if you a and if you did it properly, it would be so much fun. But there's two things New Zealand must well, know about Jace. Yeah, it is fun for us to do, isn't it? Have yeah. a real guess. Yeah. Yeah. As what a about, team. What was your guess, Keezy? I didn't guess because I'm the one that looks oh, at it. Oh, Keezy, right. we're meant to be doing this as a, as team, a team, man. It's meant to be fun for us to have a guess. All right, yeah, well, next man. time we'll have a have guess. Have a guess before you have a look. Okay, okay, fine. And I just need to say, there's two things Jace needs New Zealand to know about him. One of them, he's got a massive downstairs, apparently. And the second thing is that he uh, can get this percentage guessing game bang on every week without cheating. No, I was 4% off, Keezy. Fuck. Anyway, vote on the Instagram <laughs> poll. Cheers. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Oh, yes, indeed. A bit of faith no more there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this uh, Thursday evening. Let's not muck around New Zealand. Let's get stuck into it. What's on the telly with Mike Minogue. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Last night, I uh, I watched a wine film, a documentary, actually, oh. a doco, right. about wine in New Zealand. It's called A Seat at the Table, made in two thousand and nineteen, and it was about um, about New Zealand wine and how it came to be one of the best in the world. Bloody interesting, bloody good watch. Um, there's a guy over in London who would do a blind taste test with uh, with London's leading wine experts, uh, and he'd do it with the best Chardonnays that came out of France, the best of the best in the world, and then in amongst that there was a New Zealand wine, and it won everything over and above these wow. French wines that cost sort of mm. 10 times as much. 50 million euros. Yeah, and then it went back through the history of how New Zealand wineries came to be in the 70s, sort of immigrants coming over here, being disgusted by the state of the wines and going, look, we've got to do something about this. This is disgraceful. Because uh, all wines in New Zealand were sort of made from table grapes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, it's a bloody good watch and beautifully shot, you know, and is sort of jumps back and forth between London, uh, the wine growing areas in France, and then back to New Zealand. Highly recommend. Where Prime can you video. watch it? Prime oh, video. Amazon Prime. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I watched the final episode of uh, Painkiller. Oof. Oh, oof. body blow. Yeah, it was. Oof. Yeah. But then we started what we because uh, we watched that quite early and we went oh let's watch this movie Tar oh yeah with Kate Blanchett well, it's, a, it's a long one is it T A H R T A R oh um tedious to buggery right I hated it ah oh. and we got about how far it, did you get into we, it though where is Kate Blanchett who we love is who's a brilliant actor we got about half an hour in it and it was just like. <laughs> Oh, for f- sake! You got to keep. You, you got to keep going. Oh, with it. yeah. Well, thirty minutes is my limit of just little, 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 little about classical music. Yeah. And my wife was like, "I don't even know what they're talking about." And I was like, no, no, "Enough!" You got to stick with it, mate. And that's when she made the cup of tea, which freaked me out. Yeah. I watched a documentary on. She ancient- got nominated for an Academy Award for that. Yeah, oh. I know, I know, but it was just a bit of a wank fest, as far as I was concerned. Well, the first half hour, sure, but yeah. I'll be honest, you didn't give it a chance, mate. It gets better after that, right? I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yes, because I went to bed as well. Yes, while my wife uh, and her grandmother stayed up and watched it, and they said it was bloody good. I've not gone back to it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Did you guys enjoy the? <coughs> what is it, Keaton um, Birdman or whatever it was called back yeah. in the day? Yeah, yeah I, I thought that, that was shit house. Yeah, oh. no, this I... is reminding me. Everyone's like, you got to watch it. Academy Awards, blah blah blah. It's amazing. We watched it on a flight. No, that's, my... that's what. Yeah, that's where you should watch it. Me and my Cameron at the time, we were like, fine, we'll watch it. And I, I got like an hour into it. I was like, this is the most pretentious bullshit I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, right. it's probably a little bit above you there, Keaton. Massively, and, uh, yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, good on you. Yeah, so I flicked it off and put Space Jam on. So good. <laughs> Yum. 
Space Jam. Yeah. I actually watched... It's not a real jam, Mogi. Oh, it's like a game of basketball against aliens. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Did I you did, learn a thing or two? Huh? Nah. <laughs> Didn't help me whatsoever. <laughs> Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Foo Fighters there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Thursday evening. Now Kiwi Pong is back, New Zealand. You've got to get yourself, you and a mate, get a team mm. together and get involved in it because you will have the opportunity of winning a trip to Bali if you were to win the New Zealand pro and Championships. Isn't that right, Keezy? That's right. It is the uh, biggest Kiwi Pong or Beer Pong competition in New Zealand. It's hosted by Hodaki and also the Alternative Commentary Collective. Auckland, Saturday, September 2nd. If you are keen, we've got free team passes to give away. Text Pong to 3483. And as Jace mentioned, if you can take this uh, competition out, you will be flown to Bali with your teammate next year. You'll get accommodation, the whole shebang, to compete on the international international circuit. Hey, just on that front, I remember actually, do you remember, I don't know if you, you weren't around, I don't think, uh, Mogi, but you might remember Keezy when they had it at the old town hall. Yes, it's been, it was, was there for a few yeah. years. Oh, you were there? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. yeah. It was great. Um, and that was massive, man. I mean, I don't know how many teams there were, but there were probably hundreds. There were hundreds, and it's what a happens... serious business. What, what happens is you start with, let's say, 100 teams, and then eventually they all get knocked out, so they start standing around all the tables, and then it right. becomes less and less tables until the finals have got this massive crowd. Everyone's dressed up. Right. Their teams are in theme, you know. Um, and also people are, have been drinking responsibly. Yeah. So there's a it really good atmosphere. Heated. Yeah. It's right. very heated. Yeah. There's a lot of... Uh, yeah. Mental disintegration tactics going on, Mogi. And the ACC at the punters. is also commentating the sort of business end of the tournament as well. So And it's like streamed on the big screen. Whoa. It's awesome. Yes. Cool. It so is good. good. I'll be there, so see you there. See you there. Pugs will be there as well. Text Pong to 3483 to get yourself a free team pass, all right? Yeah, get into it, New Zealand. Great stuff. The Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at 4 on Radio Hodaki. Well, there you go, you mad bastards. There's the show for your Thursday night. Don't forget, of course, the big show going to be live in Wellington at Biavana tomorrow. If you're down in the area, come along and say good day to us. Yes. We would genuinely love to see you there. Fellas, I know that I'm going to have a terrible sleep tonight because I'll be so excited. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll be you. all fired up and ready to go. Um, so quiet one for you, Mogi. A few durries. Um... And then to bed, I imagine. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll have to pack my bag. That'll take a while. Oh, really? It takes uh, me about a minute. Yeah, no, it'll take me. I mean, I know, because you just sort of put on your hoodie and <laughs> you're good to go. Yeah, I'm good to go, mate. I'm good to go. <laughs> What's wrong with my hoodie? <laughs> no, it's not. that one's not the weird one. The one you're wearing now is a nice blue one. It's the black one. It's slightly faded and just random. You know what I mean? Well, that's weird because I reckon this one's the weird one and the other oh, one's yeah, better. Yeah, well, yeah. they're both weird. <laughs> uh, tonight. But what are you what? doing, Maggie? What are you doing? Oh, packing your bag. Packing yeah, my bags, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. And that's it. Uh, Keezy. Yeah, be it. Uh, my wife is out tonight with her workmates. Oh, she's out again, is she? Well, it's just a leaving do. So she was out oh, last right. night. Speaking yeah, of leaving. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> How appropriate. But there is a leaving do. I'll be picking her up from that later on, probably dropping all the workmates off. You know me, good fella. Whoopsh, whoopsh. Yeah, good on you, And what about hey, you, yeah. Jace? Ah, oh, quiet one for me tonight. Maybe yeah. Have a cup of tea, just put the fire cup on. Cup of tea, and, what are you? And just chill out. But listen, looking forward to going down to Wally tomorrow. Make sure you do come down and say good day if you're there. Until then, see you later.